it, it was basically based on a, uh, a phone call that uh, Wally had placed to uh, Jamie. And it was, it was kind of a scathing uh, voicemail that he left. And uh, I, I think, you know, Jamie took it personal and it was something that he couldn't get over. Uh, when we had the meeting after the game that night where Chris Allen and Jamie Toole came down and kind of, you know, had it out with Wally, uh, both Buddy and I were in there. And every point that Wally brought up, and he was very calm, he was apologetic. Uh, he, he knew that he had done wrong, but he was, he was angry as to how the drug test was administered and the way the suspensions came down, and he's sticking up for his players, and, he, and rightfully so, because he had the bylaws right in front of him, and he was right by what the league standards and, and their guidelines were supposed to be. So, you know, based on that, it shouldn't have even come to, you know, that point. But the whole thing was, was that, uh, you know, Jamie had a hard time getting over what Wally had said to him. So uh, that, that, uh, that kind of set the tone. Wally kind of said his piece. He apologized again to him. Uh, we begged him, hey, you know, we got three weeks left in the season. Let him finish it out, you know, that sort of thing. And they kept coming back with, yeah, but the fact remains is, you know, if you talk to your boss this way, do you think you'd still have a job, you know, basically? Uh, and we just kept on saying, well, if this would have been taken care of properly, this would have never happened. But they wouldn't let that go. So Wally left. Uh, you know, Buddy and I stayed, tried to talk some sense into him, uh, kind of pleaded with him a little bit, said, no, it's not going to happen. Uh, basically said, uh, Larry, the team is yours if you want it. If you don't want it, it's Buddy's. Buddy, if you don't want it, who, I got to. Just explain who told you that? Uh, Chris Allen. Just say, like, you know, Chris Allen told me. Chris Allen, and, and actually Jamie Ann. Jamie Tool and Chris Allen uh, turned to me, said the team, you know, you're going to be running the team. If you don't want it, uh, then we're going to offer it to Buddy. If Buddy doesn't want it, then I have a list of 10 guys that are waiting to step right in. So, I mean, it was just kind of all, you know, kind of a whirlwind thing going on. We we're more pissed off about, you know, Wally's dismissal than anything else than to try and think about ourselves as, you know, taking over the team or whatever. And the funny thing about it is, you know, Wally had been suspended before. Uh, I think... There was a total of 22 games that I actually had this year, you know, during his suspensions and stuff. So, but we knew he was coming back, you know, so it wasn't a big thing and guys kind of took it in stride. Well, this time it was the, the finality, I guess, kind of set in a little bit. Um, the next day, um, I heard that uh, Wally went to, it was either lunch or breakfast, I can't remember, one or the other, with uh, Jamie and Chris. And I thought maybe they were going to work things out or something, you know. I couldn't figure out why they'd want to be going to lunch anyway. You know, other than to say, hey, we're going to patch things up. But they stuck by their guns and, and he was fired. And uh, they came in and said, all right, you're, you're interim manager starting today. And, you know, that was it. 